that the six million who died in your first world war, the 11 million who died in your second, the 37 million who died in your third. From the radioactive isotopes in the atmosphere, I would estimate we have arrived approximately 10 years after the third world war. Most of the major cities have been destroyed, very few governments left. 600 million dead. World War III on Earth, a nuclear cataclysm that left 600 million dead and governments destroyed. World War III ended in the eradication of 600,000 species of animals and plants and 30% of Earth's population. 37 million who died in your third back in the 1990s. The mid-1990s was the era of your last so-called world war. The eugenics wars. First time that was attempted on Earth, the result was 30 million deaths. We called it the second civil war, then the eugenics war, and finally just World War III. The outcome of the eugenics wars on Earth speaks for itself. Tens of millions dead. Your Earth was on the verge of a dark ages. Whole populations were being bombed out of existence. Carl Nunian Singh. From 1992 through 1996, absolute ruler of more than a quarter of your world. From Asia through the Middle East, the last of the tyrants to be overthrown. You're here to kill Khan Nunian Singh. And his legacy is genocide torture. I must confess, gentlemen, I've always held a sneaking admiration for this one. He was the best of the tyrants. There were no massacres under his rule. No wars until he was attacked. And his legacy is genocide. We can be against him and admire him all at the same time. In 1993, a group of these young supermen did seize power simultaneously in over 40 nations. The century leading up to first contact was just rife with chaos. The history of this time period is wildly incomplete. So many people have tried to influence these events, you know, to delay them or stop them. I mean, whole temporal wars have been fought over them. This is extremely sophisticated work for 20th century Earth. 200 years ago, we tried to improve the species through DNA resequencing. And what did we get for our trouble? The eugenics wars. And it's almost as if time itself is, is pushing back and events reinsert themselves and all this was supposed to happen back in 1992 and I've been trapped here for 30 years trying to get my shot at him. For every Julian Bashir that can be created, there's a Khan Singh waiting in the wings, a superhuman whose ambition and thirst for power have been enhanced along with his intellect. The law against genetic engineering provides a firewall against such men. DNA resequencing for any reason other than repairing serious birth defects is illegal. Any genetically enhanced human being is barred from serving in Starfleet. I don't think there's been a case dealing with any of this in a hundred years. The Federation's stance on genetic engineering is clear. The practice is dangerous and illegal. I didn't realize you shared humanity's reactionary attitude toward this field of medicine. On the contrary, we've used genetic engineering on Denobula for over two centuries to generally positive effect. As well as violating Starfleet Code 614 to 617, prohibiting Starfleet officers from engaging in permanent bioengineering. Permanent genetic modification is illegal under Federation law. Our ultimate achievement, the oldest is 12, and all are telekinetic. Watch. Genetically engineered? Not engineered, created. Perfect in every way. We could be looking at the future of humanity. All of you have been selectively bred. Your DNA patterns chosen. Eight generations of us. We have immeasurably extended the potential of humanity. Asylum. She wants to leave the colony. They choose to leave. The Enterprise will not turn them away. But the outcome of the eugenics wars on Earth speaks for itself. Tens of millions dead. 600 million dead. A nuclear cataclysm that left 600 million dead and governments destroyed. We called it the Second Civil War, then the Eugenics War, and finally, just World War III. What began as an eruption in one nation ended in the eradication of 30% of Earth's population. Can't you do simple arithmetic? <sighs> that was my failing grade in astrophysics at the academy. What? How dare you?